In today's quickie, we're going to look at a very useful, yet relatively unknown feature of Visual Studio, bookmarks. Bookmarks provide the same service in your solutions as they do in your web browsers. They allow you to create shortcuts to commonly used or important places. To open the bookmarks pane, navigate to the view menu, and under other windows, select bookmark window. If you're into keyboard shortcuts, you can use Control WB and the pane will appear automatically. In this pane, you'll see a list of bookmarks that you've added and you can manage them from here as well. I've already created two bookmarks for certain places in the solution. I'm currently working with the MVC source code and there are a lot of pieces to it. Navigating back and forth can be painful and this is exactly where bookmarks come in. At the moment, I have no code windows open, but let's say I come in first thing in the morning and I open the solution and I need to get back to my work with the Razor template engine. I can double click my bookmark and I'm taken directly to the line of code that I'm interested in. To set a bookmark, you can use the bookmark pane to toggle a new window, or you can use Control BT to toggle a bookmark on the current line of code. You aren't limited to code files though, bookmarks can be added to any type of file, and they come in very handy for configuration files. When you add a new bookmark, you'll want to rename it to something more meaningful because it just gets added with a generic name. Each bookmark entry will give you the file and line that it's referencing. To navigate between them, you can use the Next and Previous buttons or use Control bn and Control bp respectively. And that's today's quickie. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future quickies and episodes.